պարավիս արդյունցույստաս, որ ինքը հերանչտուր վարվանի կեզի զգակու պոտենցիալը։ Արդուր հետ 15 մինտս տը մեկ դը մոստ իմպորտնտ դեսիջն ավ իս լայվ։ One of my friends asked me, why don't you sign up for the competition? I was surprised. But then I went ahead and signed up just 15 minutes before the competition started. Three years of arm wrestling practice would come in handy. On his very first try that day, Arthur lifted a 35 kilo barbell, winning his very first medal. Weightlifting requires constant improvement. You have to give it your absolute best. You have to try to lift 2 kilos, 5 kilos, more than you had a few days ago. And you need to try to lift higher and better. In the past three years, Artur has won three bronze medals at Armenia's Disabled Sports Festival. Yet, he considers these extraordinary successes as only the beginning. It's no secret that every athlete dreams of competing in the Olympics. Arthur's triumphs have been anticipated the most by his mother, ever since the moment of his birth. Mrs. Voskehat lost two daughters in the 1988 earthquake. She and her husband were devastated. It took three years for them to decide to have a child again. Arthur was born with brain damage as a result of a neonatal stroke. The doctors didn't believe that I could raise Arthur. They even told me he would be confined to a wheelchair all his life. But my optimism was unshakable. During school events, I used to stand arm in arm with Arthur right next to his classmates to encourage him to recite or sing. Then, as he grew up, he learned all about his illness, and he too felt optimistic. He had something to prove. Arthur and his parents moved to this recently built Gumri neighborhood in 2016. Their new apartment was a gift from Gilbert Momjan, chairman of the Hayastan All Armenian Funds affiliate in Germany. In May of last year, when Mr. Momjan visited us at our old hut, he was astounded to see us living in those dreadful conditions. Less than three months later, he surprised us with the gift of this apartment. Arthur's first trainer is his computer. He has the whole apartment at his disposal to try out exercises he sees on the internet. This barbell can't be found anywhere else in the world. It's the only barbell in the world with discs of different weights. It's built with parts of an old crane or something. It's far from being professional. Arthur will no longer need that improvised contraption. That's because he'll be training on brand new exercise equipment which was sent to Armenia especially for him, as a gift from Hayastan All-Armenian Fund benefactor Arman Bulbulian. <laughs> I've always wanted to compete in the Olympics, but I knew it wasn't realistic considering the primitive equipment I was training on. Now, however, I have fewer obstacles to deal with. I think I'm one step closer to my dream, and the rest is in my hands. Arthur also volunteers for the Punic Association for the Disabled. Every time he works with disabled children at the association center, he can't help wonder which is more important. His dream of winning an Olympic gold or making the dreams of the children come true. Whenever I work with those kids who are between the ages of 7 and 10, I see the fire in their eyes. But I also know that there are many question marks as to whether they'll be able to fulfill their potential. If you can do something for these children to make their faces light up with a little smile, then it's your duty to do so. Because if you have something, 
you have to share it with others, so as to both help them and feel a measure of spiritual fulfillment. And because your knowledge and abilities mean nothing if they serve only yourself. Ever since walking into their apartment, Arthur has left his wheelchair behind and started walking with canes. Last month, he put aside his left-hand cane. Now, he's aiming to get rid of the right one as well, so as to hold his dreams with both hands. <laughs>